everyone! Welcome to the new episode of the Inside Kairos video tutorials, dedicated to demonstrate unique features of the platform. Helge, could you please explain the substitution tables feature? Yeah, substitution tables are available on AUX buses on Kairos, uh, which is allowing the operator to replace any crosspoint on the fly selected on this, on this output using a sub substitution set. Um, regardless which effects are involved, it just does it on the fly. Um, the coolest part is when I show you that straight away on the switcher though. Helge, could you please give us a closer look at the Kairos unique feature substitution tables? Yes. Going into my AUX buses over here um, and I tell AUX number three to also carry main output, my main scene. Uh, and I applied the AUX3 also into the layout of my multiviewer. You see it also up there in my multiviewer hat, AUX3. And in my scene, I made some uh, pre-programming here saying, okay, my background is in RAM1 and RAM2 on the preset side. I determined that my layer number one, which is an over-the-shoulder box, um, has um, preset bus enabled. And here I have a transition between clip layer one and clip layer two. So when we're looking at the transition, uh, and I execute this transition, you see, happening simultaneously both on the same side over here. And I have a background transition here, which is just a DVE transition in the background at this moment, nothing too special. But now here's the scenario saying, okay, um, on my secondary output on AUX3, um, I need to replace a cross point. So one reason could be that somebody has not paid for the helicopter shot, so I have to replace the helicopter on my second output, or it's probably a bilingual show. So one is the national language and the other one is the international language. So I can, on the fly, re replace cross points in my outputs. Um, to do so, we go into the AUX menu. I pick up my AUX3 and I will select um, an additional effect over here. And the effect is called source substitution. It's, at the moment it's disabled, so I enable the source substitution unfold this and set up a new table saying, okay, clip player one and clip player two are not allowed to play out uh, on my AUX3. At the end of the day, this list, I can fill up this list with as many cross points as I want to be replaceable uh, by the system. Um, in this case, I simply click on the list and add a substitution. And, okay, track clip player one on this output. And also please track clip player number two on this output. And here I set the replacement for these two shots. So one is possibly saying um, it's my hardware input number five for whatever reason. And the second one, clip player two, is replaced with a logo instead. So I can pick from any of those cross points available within the system. I could even use an internal color bars to replace this. So in this case, I'm going to my um, effects over here, composite, saying this is my FX Kairos. That's my replacement over here. And you see already, I made this decision over here and it's already replaced in my output cross points. Now we'll add also something for my background in this case saying, okay, because right now I'm using RAM 1 and RAM 2 in my main background cross point, I want to have this replaced on my AUX3 with RAM um, 5 and 6. Okay, so I add RAM player number 1 and RAM player number 2 down here, and the replacement for this is supposed to be channel number five. Okay, and this is channel number six. Okay, and I'm done. And you see already what the switcher does for me at this moment. So by live switching on cross points, and why not going to channel number seven? Channel number seven for both the same. Channel number eight for both the same, if it makes sense or not. However, going to input number one, which is just a moving color bars. But now, again, going to my transition area of my main scene, and I want to replace RAM1. So put RAM1 on the preset side in my cross point and do an auto trans. Even though I'm doing a DVE effect, Kairos does the replacement on the fly straight away. But the same is true on my transition for my layer number one, doing this effect over here, saying my next cross point here is the RAM 1 cross point or RAM 2 cross point. Let's say I want to have RAM 7 instead. So I put in RAM 7 on the preset side, dissolve it on, 
fine, working. But what if I want to put in Clip Layer 1? So you see, even within the DV effect, I'm replacing that cross point on the fly, saying, go into my background again, RAM 1, dissolve, having two individual backgrounds, two individual foregrounds. But as soon as I'm switching to a cross point, which is valid for both sides, I will do the valid cross point selection. It's passing through. But as soon as I'm pre-selecting a clip player here, for instance, and this is done on the fly by Kairos. For here, for this, even though two illegal spots, like that. Helge, where has such functionality become useful? Yeah, um, one functionality would be if I have to do to program a bilingual show. Uh, so would one have the national language, the character generated for the national language, and the other one would have the international language. Another functionality would be if I need to replace a feedback loop on a monitor wall. So when I'm going for the wide angle shot on my main, I got to replace the shot over here just to avoid the feedback loop on that screen. Okay. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode of Inside Kairos Video Tutorials. Thank you.